everybody. Hi. This is one of my two get out your box challenge scopes. I'm going to do another one this week. I'm doing a new techniques on cake. Hey everybody. Good morning. Hi Laura. Sugar Shack. Okay, love. Hey Anna. Hi. If you guys can go ahead and share because it's for the challenge. Still at it? Oh, I can't stop because I'm just trying 10 million new techniques. It's really, really fun. So I was doing the chalkboard and I had success, so I thought I'd show you. Oh, yay! Hey, BB. Hey, Gina. Did y'all share? Because I got like, I got a bunch of techniques that I've been working on. And I'm still going. Oh, wait, where's my. Oh, okay. All right. So, I'll go over the ones I've already done. I used a stencil for the first time. I got these gorgeous stencils. Um, where is it? Uh, artsy, artsy Edibles on um, Etsy. Where's the stencil? Oh, here it is. It was the coolest thing because I, you know... I don't necessarily want to do chandeliers on cakes all the time. So she had three sizes for like, this is the one I used on the cookie. I did say cookie trying some new techniques. <laughs> so I, this is perfect. That's what I used on this cookie. This is about a four inch plaque cookie that's glazed, which I'd never done before. I'm getting out my box, Jess. So I love the glaze because it looks makes it look like a ceramic tile. It's pretty cool. And then I used black royal icing and I used a stencil for the first time. So I love this Artsy Edibles on Etsy. She had this um, three different sizes of chandeliers. Well, I bought them because I've always wanted to do chandeliers. And whoever gets orders for chandeliers on Click Kit, I made up my own recipe. I kind of took a glance and um, what's involved and I kind of made up my own. Hey, saucy sister. The one thing um, I did do to this glaze, because originally when I did the glaze a few weeks ago, it was so watery. I added white, um, bright white Americolor food gel to it. And it gave it this like ceramic, it's got this ceramic look, I love it. So that's what's on this cookie. And then I use black royal icing for the stencil. And then, um, of course, playing with um, Angela's uh, watercolors. Sugar, water, oh yes, it's, it's powdered sugar, water, flavoring, and bright uh, white food coloring. And you mix it till it's really, really thick. And then you dip your cookies. And it takes longer to dry. I just like the effect better because it looks like glaze. I mean, it looks like glaze, ceramic glaze. It's very cool. Um, so Angela's... Someone was talking about the watercolors the other day, and I was laughing because, look at, I have like 50, oh, I have a dozen watercolors that I made using Angela Nino's recipe, the painted box. Look at how crystal clear, and the, the colors can be so intense, but you can water them down with um, Everclear, which is what I did here. So these are the watercolors um, on the glaze. And I just was playing with, um, I got everything on Amazon. I got the bottles and I got the um, little mason jars on Amazon. It's actually, um, yes, it is as thick. Absolutely. Hey, hey, Addie, how are you? Um, you know what? I haven't tasted the glaze yet. I'll, oh, and I used my cookie stamp too. <laughs> see that? This is, um, see, they're a mess. I'm a very messy. Um, this is, these are the st cookie stamps are from Bobby's cookie cutters on Etsy. And then, um, the glaze you could tell is a mess cause I'm, I'm not used to being neat. So these, I actually dipped, um, I dipped the, these glazed ones. I didn't pipe them. So, uh, I just like the look. It's definitely a look. It's not for every cookie, but oh, good. They're cool. You, you know what I found though? It's, you got to get a good recipe. Hey, Lisa. Hi, everybody. 
you got to get a good recipe so that it doesn't spread and, and cover the, the stamp. So then that's just another one. I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe royal on top and then um, color that. So it's like three dimensional. And then another one I did and I need to new, do another. Um, it's the sequins and I used, um, here, let me grab. I used these, I don't know, they called quins or whatever. I used, I put, this is a glazed cookie. I, I put down um, uh, sugar syrup, uh, corn syrup, and then I put, this was on last night, and I put the quins on last night, and then this is my first um, pass with the Rokum Gold. Um, I kind of look the, like the colors coming through. I think if you just use plain white, it would be easier, but I need a second, um, a second coat. Um, of gold it still sticks see how this one this was a different recipe and you can barely see the stamp so you got to make sure you have a really good cookie recipe that's that's one thing i've learned and then my copy cake which i kind of, i did a little bit i did that um the cherry cookie using the copy cake well so i printed out pictures of the grinch because i want to start working on my piping so i cut i I printed these out. I just got them off of Google. I put them in my copy cake and I drew them with um, edible marker first. And then yesterday I piped with a stiff royal icing. Oh, this is so far out of my box, Jess. Um, stiff royal icing and I just went over and then I'll fill. I already mixed. This is a snow globe. And then, um, which I have a, what, a copy cake. It's K O P Y. It's, it's a, um, do I have a picture in here? It's a, uh, projector. So you can put a projector for cakes. It's, it's kind of like the old fashioned Pico. Uh, so it copy, you can copy stuff on your cakes. It's the, it's bigger. It's more for cakes. Um, but it does, I bought this special reduction lens, which, um, Gets it small enough for cookies. So you see the Grinch down there? He's being projected. And then you just put your cookie under, and I drew it with an edible marker first. I got it used. Hey, Krista. I got it used on uh, one of the um, selling groups on Facebook. So, yeah, so that's it. And then I'll fill these, and then I'll, I'll have to paint over them. So this is going to be a snow globe of some, I'm just doing these for my portfolio. So they're going to be rock hard and inedible. Um, and uh, snowman. So that's it for that. Oh, and the other thing I did new was I used gold and silver leaf, which I've never done. Um, I just painted a little water on the edges and used the gold and silver leaf just to, again, these are all for my portfolio and just playing. So I wanted to show you the um, chalkboard technique because I know it's big and it's hot and whatever. So basically what I'm going to do is this is, um, excuse the piping, these are the first cookies.